pull up line. Line's jumping right into it. Let me go ahead and stop the music. So line's coming out swinging. Jinx Blade, Duelist into a Shield Bearer. All Doc responds with the Athenian Archer into the Shield Bearer into a Canopy Barrage. Wow, that is an answer if I've ever seen one. Into Lion's Hand of a Dark Knives and a Rapture Dance. Wow. Into another Dark Knives. Not like this. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and max this out for y'all too. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat. That was literally the only play there was. And now Aldoc can just have his way with the board right now. He did go first. Gonna go ahead and put into the Fey Flame Blade. Gonna go ahead and weapon up. Foreign Diplomat off the top. Not really the best top deck that you want, but. In the Sanctum, there's the Reconnaissance, Ogre Archer, and Mind Jolt. Not really the best cards either. Uses his bag and cheats. Gonna go ahead and clear the board though. So what is the response here? Four mana? Maybe an Ogre going Rhino, but it looks like he's playing a pretty strong deck. So maybe an Agrador Protector? Okay, Ogre going Rhino is what comes out. Vault Vag off the top. Four mana, one bag. Could be a five mana play. D Dark Knives the Diplomat to take out the Overgrown Rhino. He's thinking about it. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and do so. If he doesn't and just neglects it and goes face, he is acceptable for a hunt. He's doing the math. He is going to go face. Four cards in hand for Aldoc. What is Aldoc's response going to be? Is he going to swing with the Fey Flame and hope Leech Life maybe hits? Maybe Leech Life first and roll or... He doesn't have the hunt if he's waiting this long, I would assume so. This is the uncanny rogue. Whew. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat the overgrown rhino. <laughs> Yo, Sean with the five gifted. <laughs> Appreciate you, my man. <laughs> uh, how was your night, bro? Good luck, uh, good looking out. Way to make an entrance, man. My guy. For those of you who got subs, it looks like that's Big <laughs> Big Dong with the sub. <laughs> Enjoy it, man. Don't rope. Excite, tune, and waffle. Enjoy your uh, emotes, man. So he gets Val Warden Minotaur. Doesn't have to worry about the, um, okay, there is a play with the Uncanny Rogue into the, um, for the poison with the actual one, but he looks, he's looking like he wants to do the actual one with the dark knives. In a cheat play, maybe? It was cool, man. I'm about to head to uh, LA with your girl. Just want to stop by and show support, man. I appreciate you, man. Hey, what's up, Tony? First time, yeah, you normally, um, you're in the afternoons and stuff, but normally I'm not on Saturdays and I'm normally, um, off pretty much by like uh, three, but appreciate you dropping by, man. Just um, getting some line versus all dot gameplay. Gonna go ahead and put the f doing the deadly play onto the Valward Minotaur. 
The four puts him to 25, so he did not get the, um, <laughs> enjoy yourself, Don. Um, he did not get the extra generated nature card. Gonna go ahead and easy leech life and slap into the Jason. When you're looking at Rapture Dance and Dark Knives in hand with the Overgrown Rhino and a Jason that just got put down. Jeez, Sean. <laughs> hey, you're going to need some money for LA, my guy. Appreciate you, though. Jeez, Louise. Aaron with the sub. Fantasmic. Sane. Uh, Sigitorius and Meester. Wow, man. I appreciate you so much, dude. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Have fun. Hey, Sean, what I'm going to need you to do, though. All right, so now... I think I'm definitely at <laughs> Tony with the subs. I think I'm definitely at 50 subs now. So stay tuned on the GU Reddit. I'm gonna be doing a sub uh, trials chest giveaway as well. So y'all who are sub, be on the lookout for that, man. I'm gonna be um, looking y'all up. I appreciate the love so much, man. Make sure you get your girl some nice drip while you out in LA, bro. Put up your notification. All right, bet, bro. Yeah, it'll probably be, um, I'm not sure. I'll probably set up a time to get everybody together. Okay, so he's got three damage on the Rapture. I think you just kind of got to rip it off or you're dead, though. Yeah. One step at a time. He went pretty quick. I think grabbing the Reconnaissance. Yeah, he's looking at the stuff in the Sanctum. Hopefully it's still there by next turn. The only thing that can really save him is that Mind Jolt, but if he puts out something crazy right here... If he puts out an Ashen Drake, that's toast. Yeah, this is definitely rough. He got a hand where he didn't even have, like, he had to pass on turn one. And then got a bunch of dead draws. It's definitely rough. Into the underbrush bore. Yeah. Definitely sorry to hear that, man. We, we, <laughs> we all saw... <laughs> Once the Fey Flame came out, I was like, yeah. Once you got that dead draw, bro, that was pretty much what happened. Once you got that Dark Knives off the top and literally had to pass. Yeah, that's game. I was going to say, my, my, Mind Jolt and maybe Reconnaissance? Oh, you don't have enough. Damn. Reconnaissance, I guess. The Rhino. Maybe you could see something. <laughs> I replot with the inception of um <laughs> the inception follow. <laughs> Every victory has its price. And that'll uh I mean you cleared the two confused. You did what you could. And let's see how Aldoc seals the deal. Why is he? <laughs> that man was extra. <laughs> GG's. Nice try, Lion.